Yo, how's it going, guys? It's Richie Unicorn Caller, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda look cute right now. I mean, I got the shirt, I got the hat, yo, I'm looking kind of... Alright, anyway, anyway let's, let's jump right into the video. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Uh, today, we are gonna be uh, upgrading one of the raid gears uh, which if you don't know if you do have raid gear you can upgrade it all the way up to uh, level 160 so you'll get the raid gear the raid gear will be at level 150 and then you can upgrade it to level 160 i remember when you know raids were coming out and you know the gear was there and you know nova's didn't come out yet but everybody in my uh, chat was always telling me oh you know they mentioned something on the live stream saying that oh it's gonna be like a minimal requirement effort to uh really upgrade your raid gear which um <laughs> it's not really a uh, minimal uh effort um there is a lot of effort that is required to upgrade uh raid gear unfortunately um you know with the first things first you have to have the exact same gear um obviously it's not like the dragoon thing when you can use like an off school type of thing um obviously you have to have like the exact piece of gear so if you do get the exact piece of gear um, you're then prompted to get at least 20 pixels or and 50 polygons and this is basically the stuff that you would get in um, Novus so yeah um, it's kind of grindy but you know honestly the polygons aren't even bad neither are the pixels if you're already farming Novus but you know you know like I keep saying in all my videos I definitely do think that this all could have been executed way better but it is what it is you know enough moaning about it let's just get on with the crafting already today item we are going to be crafting is all the way on second page actually and it's this this is the voids lively atham so the upgraded now here's the thing and i like this atham a lot and i think we mentioned this in the level 160 life build and i mentioned how i was interested in this uh atham because i think it looks pretty cool it comes with a lot of health and stuff like that and you know it's kind of similar to the dark woman's dagger which is the retired version um or the cosmic chris even um, however there is one thing about this atham that I just, I just don't like. I never liked the Raid Atham because of this. You're going to get a, a little steep dive of uh, outgoing. So the Dark Woman's Dagger has a base of 20%. And I believe the Cosmic Crit also has like a base of 20%. I'm not really good with my Athams. But uh, yeah, the Dark Woman's Dagger, which is the Legacy version, which uh, it doesn't drop anymore. I mean, it still drops, but the stats are completely changed. So the whole loot pool is different with all that gear. But um, this comes with 20% outgoing. And then you could basically affix your outgoing jewels here. Actually, let me go to my other one so yeah you can basically have your outgoing jewels here uh, i have the eight percents up on the dark woman's dagger those are the highest percent uh opals that you can get for outgoing while in the voids lively atham i just have some six percents which honestly the six percents are kind of useless so i don't care if i have to uh, scrap this entire uh entire jewel slot just to uh, make sure I have uh, the ingredients to uh, craft this. Um, but also the fact how, like I said, the outgoing, you're going to have a steep uh, decline. Also, a little bit of power pip chance is going to be missing, which is, you know, kind of iffy. I kind of found a way out of this. But again, you just kind of have to look at your own gear and see what's best for you. If you want a lot more outgoing, you can always go for more outgoing, but... It's just whatever, and, you know, getting raid gear is already hard enough, so, you know, might as well just upgrade it and equip it, since it's really hard to get gear. And most of the time when I am raiding, like, I really don't honestly pay attention to gear, so... Yep, here we go. Okay, that's not it. Over here, let's see. Yep, we can create it. So, I don't know if this is... I don't know if this is gonna, like, completely destroy the Atham's, like, jewels... 
Like, I don't know if this is going to completely destroy, like, all the jewels in here. I have a bunch of Pippo Plenty or the Triangle Pips. I, I got plenty of that. Um, I'm not really too worried about the outgoing jewels as, you know, I'm farming for the 8% anyway. Same thing with the Health Opal. You know, I, I'm honestly not really concerned about jewels. Let's just craft this. So, here we go. Um, obviously, you need the Voids Lively Atham, the exact gear piece of that. You'll need 20 pixels, and you'll need polygons, both of which of these reagents can be obtained in the new world of Novus. So, without further ado, here we go. The level 160 version of the Voids Lively Atham. And there it is. 50 polygons down the grain. But honestly, it's not that too hard to get polygons. And, yep, just as I expected. Yep. Everything got destroyed. I'm too lazy to look for a legendary socket ranch, but I'm also too cheap to even pay 200 crowns for it. Speaking of which, why does it even cost crowns to even, like, why does it, really, why does it cost crowns just to, like, unsocket? Like, I don't, I don't get it. Anyway, let's look for a legendary socket wrench, and, uh, yeah, let's open this bad boy up. I, I am excited, because I never really equip raid gear. Like, I have raid gear, but I just don't really use it in general. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited to see how this goes. I, I don't know which house I have a legendary socket wrench in, so I'm just kind of, like, just going to any place. Let me see if I have a backpack, but look here. Yes, there we go. All right. Uh, let's just search up on the other side. Legendary. I should have one somewhere. And now I don't see. Let's just look through here. Um, do I have any legendary socket wrenches? I have Grandmaster socket wrenches. I don't think I just saw it. Yep, here it is. Uh, inside the blacksmith fjord as I thought it would. By the way, make sure you get the uh, backpack butler. It is so useful. Highly recommend getting the backpack butler. It's probably like one of my favorite uh, housing items they put in a game in a very long time. So we're going to go over here, look for this socket wrench and uh, unsocket this bad boy. And uh, I'll worry about the jewels later. I'm not really worried about the jewels. I think it's... Did I place it over here? Yep, there it was. Yep, legendary socket wrench. Don't even ask me where to get legendary socket wrenches because I'm usually just, like, doing team-ups and it just drops, so I, I don't know, man. Um, here it is. And boom. There it is. All right. What can we put for the triangle socket? Well, blah. Probably the Power Pip Opal. Um, again, we'll worry about that later. I have that somewhere. But for the Circle Jewels, let me see. Yeah, for the Circle Jewel, you can put some of these outgoing. And then for the Health, you can put in a, uh, whatchamacallit, a Health Opal. But let me see the total health. So the total health does reach 11,000 with my current build, which I actually like. So honestly, I know this is going to be crazy, but I'm going to put a Mana Opal in here. I know a lot of people are like, why would you do a Mana Opal? I actually really like the Mana Opals, honestly. It might come in handy sometime. So for the Triangle, probably, again, that, that Pip Opal in order for this certain set to work. I I'm trying to make, again, I'm trying to make use of this thing because I understand how hard it is to get some raid here. So I'm just trying to make the best of it. Um, like I said, the one thing I just don't like about this Aetham is just that outgoing substat. If it was like 20% similar to the Dark Woman's Dagger, then that would be elite. And if you think about it, the Dark Woman's Dagger, like back in the day, you know, level 99, I mean, this was awesome. It really did come with like a balance of stats. So, you know, I'm honestly surprised that the Void's Lively Aetham did not live up to its own reputation, sadly. And, um... Yeah, if I had to decide, I'd probably still go with the Dark Woman's Dagger, but yeah, I'll just farm for some 8%. I'll just slap it on there and just, you know, wh whatever. We'll, we'll we'll see what happens. It sucks that the jewels got killed in the process, but that's okay. We got a jewel vault somewhere. We got, we got actually a few jewel vaults everywhere. Let me go to the Arcanum. Okay, I know I have some over there at the Arcanum, so let me go over there real quick. But, you know, 
Raids are pretty fun. We went with an experimental build. It was two new people on Vanguard, and we had the same life and Storm Wizard, and um, it was great. We won six times back to back um, in that three hours. So that was a world record, like for us at least. That was a record for us in the guild, and that was amazing. And it also allows more people to kind of try out um, Vanguard and kind of teach them a little bit. And I've also been teaching some people how to do the outside and stuff like that. So all in all, it, it's very fun. It, it is a very fun. I highly recommend raids. Even though there are some things I just can't agree on it too much. I mean, there are some things that they can definitely do with guilds and raids in general. But, you know, at the end of the day, you know, it is, it is what it is. We're just going to have to wait. That's what I say. Just wait until they figure something out, I guess. Um, I believe, yeah, we don't really have any outgoing because, yeah, I, we don't really have anything, so... Yeah, I didn't really prepare that in the video because getting those outgoing jewels can be a little tricky. Let me check the Ever After Village. I might have a spare outgoing jewels there, but I think those were the last ones I used. For the most part, though, um, the build without the Pip Opal right now, 91 power pips. So, if I did want to get at least more power pips... Um, for the triangle socket, I would put a lustrous pip opal. Honestly, these are pretty... I mean, a lot of people have troubles getting these. I usually get a lot of these, so... Yeah, I'm gonna put that on. Now, my power pips are at... Uh, not the outgoing. The outgoing is nasty. But 101 power pips. Awesome. The outgoing right now is 172. It can be higher. Yes, I know there's outgoing robes. Yes, I get it. Yes, the Majoris robe. Yes, the Malevolent robe. Yes, guys. Yes, Mom. I see it. Oh, yeah, I got <laughs> I got seven Lustrous Pip Opals in this Jewel Vault. I told you I had a lot of them. <laughs> but no circle jewel vaults or no circle jewels at the moment. So I'll work on getting the outgoing and then after I get those 8% and put it on this Atham, um, the outgoing should go pretty crazy. But when I do equip my Dark Woman's Dagger, then you'll see that the outgoing is substantial. It's 194. And like I said, you can go above and beyond and equip the Majora's Robe. Yes, Mom. Actually, let me see if I can just do that real quick to show you. But the thing is, though, I think, honestly, in my opinion, I think 200 outgoing is a little bit extreme. And especially if they add an outgoing limit. Like, I feel like one day they're going to add, like, an outgoing limit, like a stat limit for that. And it's just going to be a nightmare. So, I'm just trying to, like, not go too crazy with the stats. Because, I, honestly, I think if you just have even, like, a 100 or something like that. But, I don't think you have to go too crazy with the uh, outgoing, honestly, you know. Like, maybe 150 if possible. But, you know, it, it's all good. You know, if you're healing, you're healing. I mean, healing's not really that difficult to do. Especially as a life wizard. I mean... Pretty much should be Gucci. Let me see if I can find this Majoris. Here it is. Yeah, here is one. I don't have the Malevolent Robe guy. I, I just don't feel like farming for it because I really don't feel like going back to Lemuria. Um, hopefully this gives us enough for 200. Yep, there you go. 201 outgoing. Y'all are happy? Alright, y'all are happy. Alright. So, um, we're going to see a steep stive in the resist. So we're going to see a little bit of a deep dive in that. Accuracy is actually pretty good, actually, which is surprising. Um, again, I just, I don't know, I just don't like having too much of a low resist. And power pips, uh, jeez, I, again, I don't, uh, I don't know. I, I would have to do the math for it. I, I understand you're trying to go for 200%, but, ugh, I, I don't know. I, I think that's just too much for me. Like, I'm fine. Like, I'd rather have fun with my build for a little bit, but... Yeah, for the most part, I'm gonna try and make use of this Atham. Like I said, just get those 8%, whatever. It's... it's uh, you know, the thing, again, uh, it's just something bothers me about this Atham. I think it's like 
the fact how you upgrade it and the outgoing doesn't increase, like the health increase, you know, the mana, I think stays the same, I believe, but um, the outgoing doesn't change. It just stays at a 14%. So I'm um, hopefully, you know, in the future, um, they could just take a look at this and, you know, like, ah, you know, can you uh, increase the outgoing a little bit? Just, I don't know, it just seems like a waste of an eighth um, if the outgoing just stays at a solid 14%, you know, you're getting all these resources to upgrade your gear, and, you know, some of those stats aren't really making that much of a difference, so, you know, it is what it is, and we'll see what happens um, in the future. Again, we're just gonna have to wait for it, no more moaning about it, but, yeah, it's a pretty cool Atham, and, uh, yeah, I'm excited to go raiding again. Definitely it was a fun time at raiding. Um, we got somebody a first time win. It, you know, it was just nice. Everybody was having a good time. So, uh, yeah, hopefully we raid again soon. I already got the raid key. You already know I got the raid key. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited. Great teamwork. Great. Everybody was doing great. And, uh, yeah, thank you for the energy elixirs, by the way, Devin. <laughs> Valkor was coming in clutch, uh, with the STO, so... Um, that was really fun. We all had fun. It, it was super fun. I'll try and get some more raid clips for you guys, but that pretty much wraps it up the video. If you are trying to upgrade your raid gear, just know that you need the polygons and the pixels and the exact raid gear of the gear that you're trying to obviously upgrade. So, you know, just check that out and upgrade your gear and yeah, until next time, I will just see you guys later. Peace out, and if you enjoyed the video, share it with your friends. Peace out.